Hi, welcome to this tutorial where we will see how to create a basic Windows event filter configuration by using Patrol for Microsoft Windows servers. Let us open Windows Event Viewer and see the event filter criteria that is level or type, ID and source. Here application is the event log name, error, information, warning, other event levels or the event types. Each event has a source and an event ID. The KM filters Windows events based on this information. These details are required to configure event log filters. Now, suppose I want to monitor an event from the application event log with event type as error, source as event create and ID as thousand. Let us see how to configure this by using the TrueSight console. To begin the configuration, select Microsoft Windows Servers as the monitoring solution, select the latest version, select Event Log Monitor Profile and the Windows Event Log Monitor Type. Click Add to configure the event log. We will monitor an event from the application event log. In the Log Name field, I'll enter the Windows event log name, that is Application. In Forward Windows Events to Event Manager field, Select the option as per your requirement. If you want to forward the Windows event as a patrol event to the TrueSight console, select this option. By default, the KM does not forward the events as patrol events to the TrueSight console. For this configuration, I'll forward only the filtered events to the TrueSight console. I'll keep the default settings and configure filters for the event logs. Click Add. In name, enter a unique filter name that represents the event filter. For example, test filter. In description, enter a short description of the filter that you are creating. I'll enter the description. This is additional information regarding the filter and you can change the description at any point of time. In report or notify field, you can choose the technique to collect the event. This can be either immediate notification or polling interval based notification. In source details, select the use name as regular expression checkbox if you want to add a regular expression in the source name. I'll select the checkbox and click add and enter the regular expression. If you do not want to enter a regular expression, you can simply enter the source name. Click OK. Select this checkbox if you want the KM to ignore case sensitivity in the source name. I'll keep the default settings. In include or exclude source list, choose the source name as the include or exclude criteria for the filter. If you select include, the KM will filter the event and generate an alert if the specified source appears. If you select Exclude, the KM will filter the event and generate an alert if the specified source does not appear. I'll keep the default settings and proceed with the configuration. In Event Type Details, select the event level or type that you want to monitor. I'll select Error. In Event ID Details, select the Use Event ID as Regular Expression checkbox if you want to add regular expression in the Windows Event ID field. I'll enter the ID. Click OK. In Include or Exclude Event ID list, choose Windows Event ID as the Include or Exclude criteria for the filter. Now in Event Handling, select the action that the KM must take when it catches the event. You can either choose to get the event details in an annotation or use the next options. These are advanced options and we will discuss them in our next video. With this basic information, I'll save the configuration. We can now see the event in the TrueSight console. This is how we can create a basic Windows event filter configuration by using Patrol for Microsoft Windows servers. Thank you for watching this video.